We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news bulletin direct via satellite from our on-the-spot task force. Sanger here from Chicago with an important announcement. I'm announcing my candidacy for President of the United States because I believe I can return America to the proud, strong, and dependable country it once was. I have a very simple but blunt game plan that fix America for good. If you support and vote for me, I will have about 70% of the public removed. The majority of the people in America are useless scumbags with nothing to offer tearing this country apart and creating a harder life for the rest of us good people. By removing these useless individuals, we can start fresh with the rebuilding phase. Now, this is not to be mistaken with what Hitler did. The removal of these people is not based on ethnicity, race, religion, or color. The process will target only the people that do not add any value to our society. People such as gangbangers, wife beaters, murderers, pedophiles, rapists, crooks, thieves, idiots, and of course, crock wearers. You know, the shoes. By eliminating these people, it will create more jobs for Americans, reduce traffic, pollution, garbage, and save Americans trillions of dollars used to support the majority of these idiots. I will eliminate all taxes across the board, from sales tax to property tax, but there will be a $2,000 a year rent for every person to live here in America. This includes children. You can't afford to pay for your kids? Stop having them. Don't like it? Leave this country. But this will actually save all of us Americans billions of dollars by not paying any taxes on any goods or having any taxes removed from your paycheck. It will also save our government billions of dollars by eliminating the entire need for the IRS, thus removing the billions in cost to fund the IRS and the expense the government pays to file your taxes every year. If selected by the United States, I will make all illegal immigrants in this country U.S. citizens effective immediately. We will then strictly secure the borders, and anybody else that would like to become a U.S. citizen must go through a strict and rigorous mental test before being considered. Any immigrants found entering this country illegally after this exemption will be sentenced to death. Although this seems harsh, Americans do not have the time, nor do we have the money, to support illegal immigrants anymore. The free ride is over. Do it the right way or pay the price. All future visitors will be thoroughly checked and limited limited to a 90-day visit unless given a special permit. No one from terrorist nations would be allowed in. If you don't like it, change it yourself. Don't hide here in America. As president, I will withdraw our troops from all over the world, starting with Germany, the Philippines, and South Korea. If they don't want us there, we'll happily leave. We would station our troops along the borders and keep our own country secure. As your president, I will remove both the Republican and Democratic parties. We are the United States of America. We always claim to be united as one. Why are we divided? There is no need for two opposing parties in this country that, for lack of better words, are always at war with each other. Republicans and Democrats will simply be replaced with one independent party, saving billions of dollars and millions of wasted hours arguing over dumb ideas and idiotic bills. As president, I will immediately decrease the legal drinking age to 18 years of age. If you are old enough to fight for this country, you are old enough to consume alcoholic beverages. I will also increase the legal alcohol driving limit from 0.08 to 0.14. Let's face it, 0.08 is very conservative. And anybody who has a couple drinks at a bar is over this limit and still fully functioning just fine. 
However, with our more lenient .14 limit, anybody caught abusing this will be severely punished and sentenced to our new Drive Drunk People Home Community Service for one year. If convicted of driving over the legal limit, you will be given a government-issued drunk taxi vehicle. You will be responsible for driving people home from bars for free at your convicted cost. This great service will punish people who have broken the law by making them drive drunk people home all day and night. It will keep drunk people off the roads by offering them a free ride to their destination. The convicted people get a life lesson. The drunk people get a safe ride home and Americans will have safer roadways all over the country. All of this costing Americans just pennies. In addition, any persons who kill another individual due to driving over the alcohol limit will be automatically sentenced to death. They have now fallen under our 70% idiot group. You are an idiot and do not deserve to live in America. If selected by you the people, every human sitting on death row right now will be executed immediately. I will completely eliminate life in prison as an option and the death penalty will be the harshest punishment throughout all 50 states. Eliminating the option for life in prison will save Americans billions of dollars. We do not have the money nor the means to support and feed and clothe these animals for the rest of their lives. You tell me what you'd rather have. More money in your pocket, a better life, and these terrible animals executed? Or would you rather have less money in your pocket and pay to support these grandma rapers for the rest of yours and their lives? We currently spend more than $50 billion a year keeping people in jail. That's roughly $20,000 per prisoner. Now it might be worth it to spend $20,000 a year of our money. And don't ever fucking forget, it's our fucking money. To keep murderers, rapists, and thieves out of circulation until the extent of their crimes can be determined. But for pot smoking losers and people bootlegging DVDs, does this make any sense? If you vote for me, I will effectively make marijuana legal in all 50 states across the nation. But the use will be limited to your own home and not allowed in public. Marijuana will be strictly regulated and only sold by the United States government. Doing this will eliminate many drug dealers, resulting in less crimes and ensuring people are getting a safer product. Another reason America is in the funk that it is is due to couples procreating that have no right doing so. Therefore, effective immediately, couples would be required to take an intelligence test before they would be allowed to have a child. The government will offer free abortions to all accidents, uphold parents, and couples that are not intelligent enough to pass the test. These abortions would be paid for by the revenue generated by the new legalized marijuana program. As the Constitution states, every man has the right to bear arms. Therefore, effective immediately, all persons 18 and over that have passed a mental and written test will be allowed to carry a concealed weapon across the nation in all 50 states. Any persons convicted of killing another person, not out of self-defense, will be executed immediately with lethal injection and removed from society. Again, these people are in the 70% idiot group and are not worthy enough to be considered Americans. As president, I would effectively remove religion from our government. I will strictly enforce the separation of church and state. This country will be run off hardcore facts, scientific evidence, and data, not faith. Faith is not going to fix America. Faith is not going to get you a job. And I'm not going to have faith that our missile defense system is working properly. Science, data, and facts will ensure that America is safe. You can have all the faith you want under your own roof, but I am in the business of fixing this country and will do so with hardcore facts, scientific evidence, and data, not prayer. The past 50 presidents have tried prayer, and where has that got us? You can believe in any religion you want, and I respect that, but as Americans, you need to respect everybody else. And fixing this country will require a strict separation of church and state. People are going to have to get over it. We have much bigger problems at hand than religion. If elected, I will restore full funding to NASA space programs that Obama felt was unnecessary. I will also ask that Stephen Hawking be put in charge of NASA immediately. The United States will make a strong effort to become self-sufficient energy-wise. This includes developing a non-polluting source of energy and new technology with the help of NASA, but will require temporary drilling in the Alaskan wilderness and the oceans. 
The caribou and dolphins will have to cope for a while. As president, I will offer Saudi Arabia and other oil producing countries $10 a barrel for oil. If they don't like it, they can go elsewhere. They will be stuck with billions of dollars of product that no other country can afford nor consume. Gay marriages will become legal across the nation in all 50 states. End of story. They are Americans as well. And what gays and lesbians do in their own bedroom has no bearing on any of us. We have much more important issues at hand. It's 2012. This isn't even debatable. I personally don't care, and I know nobody from my generation gives a shit about gays and lesbians anymore. And if you're still hung up on this, I suggest you go to another country. But good luck, because the rest of the world has already moved on. There are bigger problems out there. Last but not least, I will enforce a $10,000 fine if you do not turn right when prohibited at a red light. The majority of stoplights in this country allow you to make a turn at a red light as long as you come to a complete stop. One stop. Proceed forward when the traffic is clear. Sitting at a red light, holding up all the traffic behind you and creating more pollution will result in a $10,000 fine. There will also be a $10,000 fine for driving too slow in the left lane. Who am I? I'm Tim Sanger, a partial Native American, paying $9,000 a year in property taxes, living in a lower class Chicago suburb. I would like to take this time to call on Penn Jillette to be my running mate. Penn Jillette is one of the most intelligent humans on this planet and the right man to be your next vice president. Also, if elected, I would like to call on Trey Parker and Matt Stone to be your speakers of the house. Yes, two individuals doing one job. Why two guys for the job? Well, A, they're some of the most supreme, level-headed, and most intelligent guys on this planet. And B, because I can't pronounce the position that comes after speaker of the house. It's a uh, president of uh, pro to pro to pro president pro to pro I, I don't I don't know something is severely wrong with America you know this your bank account knows this and it's not a secret any longer together we can fix this beautiful country I thank you for your time my hands are very wrinkly party on America we can do this This message has been approved by Tim Sanger. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you hear, click on my link or the button over there. I don't even know how it works. Is it a link? Is it a button? I don't know. And if you don't like what you hear, tell me to go fuck myself. It's not like I don't hear that 1000 times a day. Welcome to my life.